Hi guys, in this video I want to bring you my guide for how to play Jack 7 in Tekken 7. I know there are a couple of videos that I promised you guys before this, but I just really felt like making a character guide today. And uh, I was watching, you know, the amazing results that players like Anakin and Saint were achieving with this character at EVO. And I just really felt like playing some Jack. Uh, I used to play Jack quite a bit when he was new in Tekken 7 back in the day before I had, you know, settled uh, on Gigas as a main. Uh, and I achieved some pretty cool results with him and I really, really learned to uh, like and uh, respect the character. I think, I mean, you need to look no further than players like uh, Saint to know that there's an amazing amount of potential uh, in this character. Saint is my personal pick for the greatest. Tekken player uh, in the world in fact uh, that's, that's an opinion but I, he, he's the person who uh, impresses me the most and uh, it is unfortunate that Jack is uh, not super popular right now uh, I think the main reason is you know he's been in one version or, or another of him has been in every single Tekken game so he has this big moveset that is branching off in all kinds of weird directions um, and a lot of situational and kind of odd stuff but what I want to show you in this video is that uh, you can play a very simple, very straightforward version of Jack, only using a couple of really, really good moves to achieve some insanely effective results. Um, so the first thing to mention is that Jack is in that sort of family with uh, Gigas and the Bears, where he has a big hitbox and doesn't necessarily move evasively all that well. I mean, he has uh, a very decent backdash, so you can do, you know, your backdashes and look for those uh, whiff punishing opportunities. And I think that's more than decent enough. And then you're going to try and whiff punish with your down four two, obviously, which is, you know, one of the best whiff punishing launchers in the game. Uh, but more on that later. Uh, but you have above average range, you have very good throws and above average grappling actually. You might be the second best grappler in the game next to King in my opinion. Uh, Jack has very good throws and just very, very good uh, poking stuff overall. But the first thing I want to talk about uh, before we get into pokes and stuff is just give you some uh, basic, uh, basic, you know, like a starter kit for punishment. I'm not going to go through all of his block punishment, but just some basic stuff. So for 10 frames, uh, much like uh, or unlike any other character in the game, you don't actually have a 10 frame uh, jab string for your 10 frame block punisher. I think this is exclusive to Jack, but don't worry, you do have a 10 frame block punisher in the shape of 4-2. This only uh, does 17 damage, but in return it has some of the best range ever. I think this might be the longest range uh, 10 frame block punisher in the game. Absolutely massive and really, really good. So this is a great move. Uh, the best thing about it is uh, possibly that it is actually great on counter hit because it causes this knockdown, which can give you guaranteed damage. And so what you want to do for the guaranteed damage after this counter hits it's uh, 444, which I did right there. That's uh, the rocket kick. Gives you 48 damage, completely guaranteed. The timing is a little bit specific, but once you uh, get it down, it's going to be very intuitive and easy to get out. Uh, but if you find it difficult in the beginning, you can substitute your 444 rocket kick for just a 441, uh, which is uh, much more forgiving uh, in the timing. And uh, gives you 44 damage instead of 48. But the, Okay, so that's the counter hit properties of Ford uh, 2. For 11 frames you have 2-1, which is your sort of stand-in for a typical jab string with Jack. It is very, very good. The second hit is mid, which is important because it's going to catch a lot of people who are ducking or moving around. Uh, the 2 by itself is one of the greatest uh, pokes ever, but I'm going to talk more about that later. But that's your 11 frame block punisher. It has this extension that is a launcher that you uh, don't need to ever use, unless you're like uh, trying to catch somebody by finishing the string, and then if they are unfortunate enough to eat that you can get some really massive damage uh, with a huge combo something like that but whatever and then uh, for 15 frames you get down for two which is you know your launcher and one of the greatest launchers ever great wall carry good damage um, so solid solid stuff and then for while standing your 11 frame uh, while standing four is one of the strongest ever it does 20 damage and a spark on normal hit so that's going to be solid for most blocked lows but if you need to launch or you block something big you can launch with while standing one which is a 15 frame launcher from while standing which is really good as well okay so that's just some basic punishment not everything obviously but uh, to start you off now let's start talking about your moveset so 
the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that your down forward one is not a traditional down forward one. A traditional down forward one uh, is 13 frames, gives you a big frame advantage on hit and only a small disadvantage on block, meaning that it is a move designed for opening up offense. Jack uh, has a very long range down forward one, but it is slightly slower. It comes out of 14 frames, uh, 14 to 15 frames, which is slower than a normal uh, down forward one. And it also has slightly less advantageous frame data. This move is minus seven on block, meaning that you can't, you know, chain them together. It's kind of similar to Gigasus in that way. Uh, Gigasus is obviously like chunkier and a little bit better in my opinion, but Jack can do some very interesting stuff with his down forward one. It has a very low sort of scoopy hitbox. He has these uh, string extensions that you can use to mix people up. Uh, but just for normal mid poke, it is very long range and very decent, and it gives you a plus three on hit. Two other options that I just want to give like honorable mentions here for a mid poke is I like a down forward four myself. Uh, I think it's a fast, long range, very solid. Uh, I love this move. And then you also have a forward one. Forward one is very similar to down forward one. Uh, the frame data I think is pretty much identical. Forward one is 14 frames, minus seven on block, plus three on hit. So yeah, basically the same move as uh, down forward one. They both have great range. They're both decent uh, mid pokes. So these are like your uh, main three options for like a, a mid poke. Down forward four, down forward one, uh, forward one. Now we need to talk about uh, standing two. Standing two is, I think, the best move you have and the most important move that you have. It's one of the uh, premium, premium pokes in this game and uh, it's super, super important. I mean, you know, the, the most important, most powerful moves in Tekken are not necessarily like huge crazy launchers like this. They're usually awesome stuff like this standing too, and I'm going to explain why. So, first of all, uh, unfortunately this is 11 frames instead of 10, like I mentioned previously, but uh, what this move will do is, well first of all you've got massive range for like a normal standing jab. The range is insane, it might be the best in the game. I mean, what could possibly rival it? I mean, uh, Bob has great jab range, Gigas has great jab range, but I'm a Gigas man, and I can tell you right now that out here, uh, like here, his standing one would probably not reach. But uh, Jax will, even though it is 11 frames. And then the frame data, you are at plus minus zero uh, on block, which is amazing, meaning that you're at like no advantage whatsoever, so just keep abusing it. But if you do get a hit, you land at a massive plus nine, which is the largest frame advantage you can have on a move without it being a launcher, meaning that you can use this to set up everything. You can set up uh, uh, lows, you can set up uh, launchers, you can set up counter hit moves, you can set up, uh, uh, for example, let's see if we can get a tombstone right here. Yeah, you can set up great, great throws. It is an amazing uh, setup tool. Uh, it's your, it's like a keep out tool. You open up offense with it. And this is why you see uh, great jack players. You know, they're spaced out here and they're doing like uh, this and looking for a hit. And they will also like run in and just do standing two because they know if they you know get blocked whatever they're at plus minus zero but if they get a hit they have a massive plus nine and they can do like a mix up for whatever they want so a great great move you're probably your most important move and you need to learn how to like use and abuse this move uh, with jack and then uh, you know the two extension is a natural combo and a mid so very very good you can use that as well uh, and uh, yeah this jab string is amazing and it gets a lot of favorable stuff uh, but it pays the price of being slightly slower, one frame slower than a normal jab string. But amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to talk about, let's just mention some other good mids. Uh, you've got back two. Back two is a cool move. Um, the disadva dis disadvantage of this move is that it's kind of slow, it comes out at 19 frames, meaning that it's risky to use very uh, close to your opponent, but uh, it's got long range. And it's very, very good uh, in terms of its frame data. Otherwise, it gives you 27 damage and a knockdown on hit, which is great. But it also gives you a very respectable plus five on block, meaning that you can use this as a setup tool. It will also, you know, if you look at Jack, he crouches down a little bit, meaning that you can uh, crush highs with this move sometimes. So uh, a very, very solid mid. Uh, just be aware that it is a little bit slow. So it might not be, you know, at range zero. You might not be you know, wanting to use it against uh, a, a, an opponent who is mounting a lot of pressure and using a lot of uh, pokes and jabs and, you know, mids. And then I also want to give a little shout out to Ford 1 plus 2 here. A very long range move. I mean, it has longer range than you would think. I think it will hit comfortably from out here as well. 
Um, it doesn't look like it, but Jack's hands are just moving so fast that you can't see uh, how fast they, I mean, they, they become like uh, untraceable by the eye, which is why it looks like this move actually like is a, a he, like he fires a shot. But it's just a very long range good mid punch that's going to cause, you know, great wall splats and everything. So it's a very solid uh, move. In terms of frame data, it comes out of 15, which is great. But it is minus 18 on block, meaning that it is very punishable. But if you have a look here, especially at close range, th this gives you a great amount of pushback, meaning that if your opponent is not very aware of what they need to do to block punish this move, you will get away with it uh, a lot of the time. Uh, if they don't know the, know the specific way to punish this move, it's going to go unpunished a lot of the time. I mean, I think stuff like Lars's 424 uh, would probably work on this. Maybe uh, Claudio's 422. But uh, yeah, it goes unpunished a lot and it's a very solid mid. 15 frames. Uh, very, very good. Uh, Alright. Let's talk about some lows. So, um... The first low and like the most important low that we need to talk about, you know, uh, signature jack move is down back one. Down back one is a fantastic low. It's one of the premium low pokes in the entire game. Uh, it's super, super, super good. It's got long range. It's ridiculously fast. One of the fastest lows ever. Uh, and it's only minus 12 on block, meaning that you're never going to get very heavily punished for using it. So this is a super strong move. Uh, it does recover in uh, full crouch, so just be aware of like your options to like do a follow up out of full crouch. Maybe you know, I like to do a down back one into a while standing two. This is a very solid option for like a little safe uh, mid follow up. That's gonna, if it hits, you know, allow you to continue your offense. But you can use uh, while standing four, or you can just you know back out, uh, or do or, or maybe like stay down here and do stuff from full crouch with which Jack is uh, really good at actually. The next low I need to mention is uh, this move. Um, this might, if you're unfamiliar with Jack, this move and this move might look like the same move, but they're actually very different. And so the main uh, way to tell them apart for now is if you listen to the sound, uh, Jack has shotgun shells in his arms that he uses to like fire his arms out. And he uses that sound effect for the normal down back one, which is that sound effect right there. But he doesn't have that sound effect if you look at this other move. And this other move is full crouch down back one. So this is down back one, and this is full crouch down back one. And they might look very similar, but the, the defining difference is that while this move is uh, minus 12, the full crouch version is actually completely safe. And that means that the move is a little bit insane, because um, safe, unseeable lows in Tekken are extremely rare. Uh, I mean, we could just talk about this a little bit if you want to know why. Like in Tekken, if a low is unseeable, meaning that it's so fast that your opponent w won't be able to react to it visually and block it, then the only way for them to block the low is to predict it and then block. And if your opponent, you know, makes a prediction and then is able to use that prediction to block a low, that is very good and very impressive of them. And so they deserve to be able to punish, right? They deserve to get damage for making a correct prediction in that situation. Uh, but not when you hit with Jack's uh, full crouch down back four. Uh, sorry, down back one. Uh, the like uh, trade-off is obviously you need to get into full crouch before you can do the move. But it's not that hard. You just run up like this. You get into full crouch as fast as you can, and you do this uh, down back one. You can actually just run up and hold down back one, and he will go into uh, full crouch, and then just press one once you're in full crouch. And you will see good Jack players use this move a lot. Run up like and do stuff like you know that or run, run up and crouch and do that and it's um, super super good uh, great great low poke and then for other low pokes you've got san standard stuff like down four is good I really like down back four as well it's kind of long range it's a favorite uh, jack low poke of mine and then uh, if you need a slightly bigger slightly more offensive chunky low my favorite option is down back two down back two has good range does 24 damage it doesn't knock your opponent down uh, but uh, that's not necessarily all that bad because you can use it to set up, you know, stuff like a throw or you can go into like a mix up or whatever. So it's very, very good. Um, in terms of frame data, uh, let's see, down back to is 22 frames to come out, which means that it is um, in that range where some people can see, it, but online it's going to go unseen most of the time unless you're too obvious. So a good option for a chunky offensive low. And then uh, this move, because it is a big low, uh, 
is my minus 18, meaning that it is launch punishable by almost the entire cast uh, or the whole cast uh, on block. So you just got to be aware of that. Uh, but a, a great little low uh, nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I think now that we talked about like your main lows, like all of this stuff, uh, I think we should go into full crouch and talk a little bit about your full crouch mix up uh, because uh, Jack he loves to be in full crouch he kind of lives down here a lot and you will see good Jack players you know they're spacing their opponent out with back dashes and then they like sit and crouch or they will like run in and sit and crouch and uh, this is uh, terrifying because Jack is uh, really good from crouch okay so um, the main low you have for your full crouch mix up, I'm not going to go if, because Jack's moveset from full crouch is so big. It's like as big as his entire move list outside of full crouch. It's kind of ridiculous and a lot of it is like s silly and situational. So I'm just going to go through the main mix up you're going to use here. Uh, uh, the low that you use is full crouch down forward one plus two, one plus two, which is this string. This is very, very good. It's uh, a knockdown low that does 37 damage, meaning that it is scary enough that your opponent is going to respect it, allowing you for a mix-up. And so the two alternatives you have is you can finish the full crouch down for 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 for the 37 damage and the knockdown, or you just do the full crouch down for 1 plus 2 by itself. And the reason that's really good is you can do uh, really good setups in terms of Oki. So let's talk about a little bit about that Oki. So the main thing you want to do after you connect with this move is you just go straight into a 443, which is this stomp. And the reason this is so good is this stomp is a powerful uh, ground hitting mid. So if uh, my opponent gets hit by this and stays on the ground, this move is going to hit them for a lot of damage. Because it's mid, if they get up crouching, it's going to hit them for a lot of damage and knock them back down. If they get up and they block and they're not crouching, you know, they get up stand blocking, this move is plus five on block, meaning that I get a lot of plus frames and then I can go straight into another mix up. A very popular option with Jack is to use this get the knockdown or maybe the plus frames with the 443 and then if the 443 gets blocked uh you can go into uh you know a throw it's a very popular option for setting up throws with jack and jack has you know a uh, a wealth of uh, really powerful uh throwing options that he can use um so uh very very solid let's have a look at how do you do that move again i'm just gonna see if i can remember No, that's not it. There we go. Okay, that's not important. Uh, the the knockdown of, off of this into 443 is very, very good for setting up throws or any kind of like uh, mix-up. It's, it's super, super strong. So that's your main low for your full crouch mix-up. Obviously, you can use like fast stuff like this if you want instead. And then for your mid, um, your main options are, you know, you have the great while standing four that we've talked about. You've got the great while standing uh, two one. For a fast one, you can use just the two by itself. It's got good range and it's very nice uh, on hit. It gives you enough uh, plus frames to continue your offense confidently. And then if you feel like you, uh, you know, if you hard read uh, that your opponent's going to duck look, looking for this low, you can use the while standing one for a launcher. So yeah, uh, good little full crouch mix up, very solid stuff. Uh, and I think like the best option is probably going for that low and the setup with the stomp. I've, I've seen uh, su super, super um, successful uh, setups with that. It's a very, very classic kind of Jack thing. Uh, all right, anything else we need to talk about in terms of like full crouch mix up? I think that's basically it. So what I want to do next is I want to go into you know where Jack finds most of his extremely strong moves I just have a bit of coffee which is where um, you're spaced out from your opponent and you're you know not up here and, and brawling but you're actually uh, creating some range and uh, out here Jack has some amazing options okay so the first thing we need to talk about is your 4 forward one one of the greatest mids, uh, like probably my favorite move with Jack. I absolutely love this move. Like if I could lift a move from one character to another, I would take Jack's four foot one and I put it on like all my mains. Um, this move is so fantastic. Um, it's a very long range mid that knocks down for great damage on hit. 30 damage is obviously huge and it's fast as well. So this is super, super good. Um, and um, I don't think they've changed this. It should surprise me if they did. But I think you still get a completely guaranteed down back two on hit. 
meaning that uh, this is essentially 30 plus 19, a 49 damage mid that you can just close the distance with, and it's completely safe on block. I mean, uh, what an amazing move. Those properties just, I mean, they're insane. It's an oaky tool. It does, like, everything. It breaks the floor. You can use it for, like, uh, wall combos. It's uh, very, very good. And as far as I know, the down back two is completely guaranteed still on uh, on hit. But uh, I, I, because I have a, a person I know told me that they actually changed that, but I don't think that's true. Um, if that is true, I mean, you, you have all kinds of great oak you can do after. You can go straight into another one, for example, so don't worry about it. But uh, I think uh, this still works completely guaranteed, and it's 49 damage, which is super solid. And this is one of the best mids ever, and like your main uh, mid from a spaced up position. Another uh, option that you can use that I personally love is the rocket kick. Uh, is it known as Das Boot? Maybe <laughs> if that if that's true, it's a genius name for a move. Uh, really, really funny. But this is, I mean, a long range, really chunky mid, 35 damage, boom. You know, uh, such a high powered uh, uh, wall splatting tool. Very very good. And again, this move is actually safe depending on what range it gets blocked at it can be everything between minus four to minus nine but i'm pretty sure it's never going to be more than minus nine meaning that it, this is a safe mid uh, that has a you know huge amount of range and it's so fantastic so great stuff both of these options uh, can be used for whiff punishing obviously uh, but the weakness of both moves uh, unfortunately are that you know they're kind of linear so you just gotta be like you can't be like super obvious and out here and then like move in and you know do one of these moves you gotta be kind of like you know moving around and keeping your opponent guessing and then you know uh, throw it out kind of like uh, out of nowhere it's how the move uh, needs to be used but uh, great great options uh, if you want to launch your opponent you've got your four foot one plus two I really like this move it's um, a very solid fast launching mid uh, that surprises a lot of people it's just like out of nowhere boom he just launches you and uh, you get a solid combo thanks to downford 1-1 one, one off of this now uh, so this is a great great tool um, the problem with it is that it is uh, very punishable on block but the reason this move uh, gets uh, unpunished a lot of the time is that you have extensions and your opponent is going to respect the extensions and not necessarily punish every time so the extensions you have like the main one is uh, 4 forward 1 plus 2 2 which is like this big mid uh, and you can do 4 forward uh, 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 where he goes into this low which is you know just a string version of his full crouch down for 1 plus 2 uh, so that's very solid uh, okay, and then obviously another move that we need to talk about if we're out here is uh, I'm playing on a control pad right now, so I'm probably not going to be able to perform it very easily. There we go. Uh, this is debugger. Uh, iconic, super strong jack move. Uh, ve much, much easier to do if you're a uh, control stick player than a pad player, which is why I'm flubbing it up right now. Okay, there we go. Can we get it a couple of times in a row here? There we go. One more time. No. There we go. Uh, yeah, I haven't played uh, Jack on control pad in my entire life, so this is a little bit awkward for me, but it's not hard to do on pad. I'm just uh, unused to it. It's a very, very good move, and uh, don't you know be frightened by the fact that it has a little bit of an awkward input if you're a new player uh, playing on pad. It's fine. There we go. Now it's coming out nice. This is a, a homing move and a low that has massive range, massive damage, and hits grounded opponents. So it has some serious, serious properties. And uh, your opponent is really, really scared of Jack when he's in a spaced up position because at any time he can throw out a debugger and he's gonna do you know massive damage and a knockdown and get Oki and, and a lot of scary stuff. He can do like debugger, run up and do another debugger. Uh, debugger is amazing, uh, but the main thing about it is that it is, it is slow-ish and uh, very punishable on block. If you look at the amount of recovery Jack has after this move, like he has to finish spinning, he has to like check out the ground a little bit, he has to like think about what he had for lunch yesterday. I guess maybe Jack is a robot so he doesn't eat, but whatever, before he stands up again. So this is like minus uh, 16 trillion on uh, uh, block, but on hit it's an amazing move. So you just got to be not obvious with it. And it's amazing. And it's also, interestingly, you can get a, a safe version of this for your uh, Rage Drive, which is uh, Debugger 2. 
uh, and so like this is like a, the the ultimate round ender. Like when Jack has rage, your opponent is so scared of this move because you can just do it and it's going to do 44 damage, which would like usually win you the round. But uh, if they block it, first of all they have to block the low and predict it, then they have to stand back up and block the mid as well. And even if they do, they can't punish you. So it's a very powerful uh, end of the round tool for Jack. Uh, I can m mention in this section that Jack just happens to be an extremely powerful character with rage because he has this great, great rage drive, uh, but then he also has a good uh, rage arc. It has very long range, hits from way out here. It has a lot of pushback, which can make it extremely difficult to punish for some characters. Sometimes they will just try to punish it and they will uh, completely whiff, meaning that if you do like a rage shard and get it blocked like this, and then you just go straight into like a launch or like down for two, you can launch them and take a round. Uh, but then also, this is a little bit crazy, you can set up your rage shot with Jack with throws. Uh, with really, really fast throws. Throws obviously can't be blocked. And so uh, <laughs> when Jack has rage, your opponent needs to be really careful uh, because he can do some uh, really disgusting stuff like this, right? Uh, but that was just a little bit of, an, uh, uh, of a digression on rage. Um, whatever and uh, let's turn range off for now so we were talking about debugger yeah it's a very important move and i'm finally getting it out now okay so now i know how to do it oh i haven't mentioned the input um don't get upset i'm going to mention it right now it's back down back down uh, down forward one so it's like uh i guess a third third circle forward uh, one but it's like you go from back to the uh, down forward position and then one uh, to get this move out and uh you can use your uh, half circle or uh, the same input but two, which is this move, uh, for uh, a mix-up if you want to. It's a very solid little, like his version of like a death fist, but obviously nowhere near as good as like Paul's death fist. But uh, really good players who are like you know uh, looking out for the debugger might get fooled and eat uh, this move uh, for the mid mix-up. But yeah, debugger is great. It's okay. Works on grounded opponents. It hits after a, a balcony break, and it's a very good move. Uh, debugger is a premium option from a spaced out position. There it is. And I really need to practice the input. <laughs> I should have just done this on a stick, I guess. But whatever. That's debugger. Let's move on. Uh, we talked a lot about like spaced out options. Um, I mean, you don't have a normal like slash kick or anything with Jack, so you got to use these options. Uh, but they're very, very strong. Four foot one, four foot four, four foot one plus two, uh, and uh, <laughs> if we can get it out, debugger. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about throws next. I think uh, I want to talk about throws. Uh, I think Jack has very, very good throws. And uh, he also has, you know, that amazing uh, while standing, no, sorry, not while standing, standing too, to set up the throws. He can set up throws with his mids, he can get good throw setups with his 443. And another really good move that I want to mention here that I use mainly for throw setups, which is why I put it in the throw section, is up 4 2. Up 4 2 is an amazing, abusable, abusable jack move. This is uh, your main option for a low crushing move. Unfortunately, Jack does not have a hop kick or any other kind of move that will allow him to uh, uh, crush lows and launch, but you can use this move instead. It does 25 damage, which is solid, but the main reason this move is so good is that, uh, let's have a look at the frame data here. It gives you uh, plus seven on hit, but it also gives you plus two on block. Meaning that you can like chain these together, but you can also like use this and then you can go straight into like, you know, what have you. But this into a throw is a very uh, solid option. So um, this is a very good Oki and uh, throw uh, setup tool. Uh, I think it's really, really good. And you know, you can use it on grounded opponents because uh, it's gonna crush get up threes and then it's gonna hit people get up crouching. Uh, you can harass people at the wall with this, get plus frames and then wasp at them with a mid. Um, it's really really good so Jack has a lot of throws and I'm not going to be able to talk about all of them here uh, but I'm just going to mention a couple of options so you've got your generic throws obviously and then you have uh, tombstone which is my favorite option 40 damage uh, massive puts your opponent right in your lap so you can do good good okey tombstone is performed by pressing down back and then uh, forward one plus two like so 
So you press down back and then you uh, press forward one plus two because down back is a little bit of an awkward input because it's the input for crouch. It's very easy to do this move like after a, a two jab like I'm doing here because you can buffer the down back input during the animation of the two. Again, if you don't know about button buffering uh, or muffin buttering <laughs> as one of you guys called it in the comment section, check out my guide on button buffering that is on this channel and I will explain all about uh, how to buffer uh, throws out of the animation of other moves. I explain all of that. I use Gigas for the example, but it's the exact same principle. So you'll learn exactly how to do that if you watch that guide. Uh, the next throw I want to mention is the Volcano Buster, which is this move. The reason this is good is you can get a lot of guaranteed damage and you can use it to set up your uh, Rage Art. There's a this move, uh, which is the uh, modified Volcano Buster, uh, which does like uh, more damage, but I just use the regular Volcano Buster. It's, you know, my favorite option. Uh, the way to tell them apart is he doesn't scream during the normal version, but he screams during the charged up version. That's the charged up version. Uh, but the way to do this throw is just down forward and uh, two plus four. Very, very good option. Uh, easy to do. I mean, run up, do a single two jab, do this, go straight into a raid chart, and you can steal so many rounds. It's uh, an amazing throw. And then the final throw I just want to mention that uh, I really like is, uh, I think this is called the Megaton. Uh, it's the up forward one plus two. And this is the Megaton drop. It's not super good or anything. It, it uh, crosses your opponent up and changes the positioning. But if you do that uh, modified version, which is uh, you do the throw uh, up forward uh, one plus two, and then you do uh, down, down four two. Uh, you do the throw, and then during the animation of the, the throw, you do down, down four two. He screams and throws you forward for extra damage and uh, a massive, uh, massive uh, wall splat. So uh, it's a very good throw for like uh, wall splatting. So you can like do this move, like up four two. You can go straight into a grab with uh, up forward one plus two. And then you can uh, see if we can get it here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not able to connect it right now, but this is not hard to do. Don't worry about it. Just the setup is not in my muscle memory right now. There we go, finally. <laughs> All I was trying to illustrate there, wasting a lot of time, is like that into like this throw of the modified version with the wall spot is uh, massive at the wall, but. Um, it's not super important. We can talk more about it later when we go to the wall, but that's another good throw option that I wanted to show you. And so the main way of setting these throws up is like you can use any kind of low, not that low, obviously down back three, it's not really good, but you can use any kind of like low like that. You can use your normal uh, standing two and you can use stuff like your four four three or your up four two and you can uh, get some really, really great throw setups. I think Jack has a really, really good throw game. Uh, okay. I think we're basically ready to start talking about uh, combos. I mean, we haven't gone into all of the crazy stuff that Jack can do. I mean, he has insane stuff like this. He has, you know, insane, like crazy stuff like that. He has like crazy stuff like that, or like he can <laughs> cancel that into like this. And he has all kinds of like wild stuff, but um, you don't really need to know about all of it, if I'm completely honest. If uh, you feel like learning about all of Jack's like weird stuff and all of his crazy uh, crouch stuff. Just worry about that after you've learned how to like play a spacey, sp uh, like a spacing with punishing down four two, down back one using like a version of Jack and then worry about all that stuff later, okay? So now I wanna talk about some combos um, and uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of different options but we're, let's just start with the main option. Um, off of down four two, which is your main launcher, uh, you're gonna wanna do a uh, standing four then a back one, then you're gonna spin with down forward one, one. You're gonna run up and you're gonna use back three, 
3-2-2 for your ender. The reason back 3-2-2 is almost always used as an ender with Jack is that it has decent damage but also very good wall carry which is going to allow you to um, create wall carry combo conversions but it's also like your overall best combo ender meaning that your standard combo is naturally organically going to create the wall carry for you which is so nice because it means you only have to like learn one combo and then whether you get the wall splat or not it doesn't really matter if you do you do the wall combo if you don't then you're fine and it, that's super nice it's the same thing with like katarina right so let's show the combo there we go that gives you 60 damage, which is very solid, uh, or like, not very, but it's solid. It's very respectable for a 15 frame uh, move. And uh, it's gonna be like your main option. This is what I think most people are using, uh, even at a very high level with Jack. And I think it's pretty much optimal uh, for damage. Uh, just another option I want to show you uh, in case you are very new and struggling to do any kind of combo with Jack a very uh, easy option that you can use that I kind of like It's just that that gives you 56 which is not bad at all and all that is is you launch you do one two for the spin move One two is a really cool little spin move and then that recovers fast enough that you can do a completely charged up version of back to this is charged up back to and charged up back to does 55 damage <laughs> on a on, on normal hit so in this combo just because of that huge hit that gives you great damage you can use it for a wall break and so sometimes when you just want to do a quick combo to finish somebody off i really like that option but it's obviously not optimal when you have uh this okay <clears throat> so that's the first launcher we need to talk about uh next let's talk about while standing one Like you saw right there, while standing one has the exact same combo and very comparable damage. Uh, so that this main combo with Jack is going to be used for like most of his stuff and it's uh, very very solid and you know, if you learn this then you can basically combo with the character, right? The next launcher I want to talk about is uh, 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is a really cool move that I love with Jack. Um, it's a safe uh, mid-high launcher that is homing and very very fast it also has some strange evasive properties where it will uh, like cause the opponent's uh, attack to whiff and launch them a lot of the time it's uh, kind of like a, a really cool move with jack obviously a natural combo so if the mid hits you get the entire combo the only problem with this string is that the, if they block the first mid they can duck the second high if they're fast enough and so it, it's uh, not as useful on a uh, high high level uh, in high level matches, but it can be very useful. It's got good range as well, and I really like it It's also a spin move so one of Jack's before Jack Jack didn't used to have this move for a spin so before he used to have to do uh, That for like his optimal combo which uh, as you can see is three damage less than what he gets right now But it's a fine fine move and I really like it and the combo you do after is you just run up and do a standing four into the back Three two two for the generic ender and you get 57 damage and that's just a, a standard decent option off of that uh, Next let's talk about uh, four forward one plus two uh, One plus two which is that move uh, for this move uh, just do uh, uh, Down forward one one to go straight into a spin like this and then run up do uh, normal standing four and back three two two standard stuff again uh, about a jacks standing uh, four I think he actually has counter hit four it's kind of silly but yeah you can do the same combo off of counter hit four and it does really good damage as well but uh, it's not like an abusable tool jack or anything if you want a fast counter hit tool I say try and rely on four two uh, but he does have that uh, next I guess we can talk about uh, 442. 442 is a really cool uh, jack move. It closes the gap. It's a mid launcher uh, and it's safe uh, because of its uh, great pushback. Uh, it's just a little bit slow which is why it's risky. It also has like a charged up version but you don't need to worry about that. I think the vanilla version is better. And so for this you can do all kinds of crazy combos like you can jump in the air like this and you can spin them and or whatever. Uh, but I think for this, actually, what you want to do is just do your normal uh, bread and butter combo. Just walk up, do the four, back one, spin as normal, and just do your normal combo. 
it's uh, not super like fun maybe that the combo doesn't change all that much but it is uh, solid and you only need to learn this one combo and you can do like most of his stuff right so it's pretty cool okay what other important launchers do we have yes we could talk about that uh, this is uh, your uh, you have this extension of this is your normal down for one right and you have this extension string if you just do the first three hits, you can uh, go straight into a down forward one one for a launch. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But your opponent can duck this whole thing because after the second hit, uh, you can see that all the subsequent hits are high, so that's dangerous. Uh, but yeah, this is a decent uh, launching tool with, with Jack, I suppose. And I think that's, is that all we need to talk about in terms of launchers? Am I forgetting something important? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, you've got the windmill into this, but do you, do I really need to teach you that right now? I don't think so, right? Um, let me think. Okay, now I think that's basically it for now. Uh, I might uh, think of something a little bit later and then I'll show that. But, I mean, for the most part, you are launching with down F4-2 because it is such a great move. You just got to be careful because it is punishable. It's not one of those safe down for ones But it has some of the most insane range ever. And it's just really, really, really good. And it's going to do most of your launching. From while standing, you have the while standing one. It's really good as well. Uh, you can use uh, that this for a gap closer or that for a gap closing launcher and uh, yeah a solid easy combo stuff now let's try and show you a little bit of a uh, wall conversion combo with jack so it's just going to be your normal combo and then you're going to do your uh, like wall follow-up so let's see if maybe this will be a good range to, to try it Okay, so that worked out. Massive damage. Uh, Jack has great, great combos. He didn't used to have great combos, but now I think he has great combos. And I think his wall combo is great as well. What I show you right there is his main wall ender, and that's going to work off of any combo that ends with a back 3 2 2, which is basically every combo that he has. So this is like if you've learned this, then, you've, uh, then you're done with in terms of like uh, Jack combos, which is pretty cool. But if we reset to the wall here and talk a little bit about the wall. Let's see, how are we doing for time? Oh, we're a little bit ahead of schedule for once. How nice. So, uh, when Jack is at the wall, his uh, main uh, call, uh, like wall splat tools include the 444, which uh, I've talked about as a safe mid and great. Massive damage. You can use down forward 1-1, one, one, which is his main spin move. This is going to work great. Uh, just be aware that the second hit is punishable. Not massive. I think it's is it minus like 11 or 12. It's somewhere in that range. Uh, not huge. And it can give you a really nice wall spat. Uh, you can also wall spat with a forward 1 plus 2. Super solid. Um, I don't think the back 2... No, the back 2 just forces a knockdown like that. So that doesn't actually give you the wall spat. Uh, but yeah, you have some uh, really solid tools here to create the uh, wall splat. I mean, not super good, uh, but but very very decent. But mainly like uh, you know, after the three to two out here, when you get the wall carry, is when you're gonna wall splat. Um, that doesn't give a wall splat either, right? I don't think that that does do. But one plus two, I don't think you can get a guaranteed follow up. No. Okay. Uh, while standing, uh, sorry, not while standing, full crouch, uh, down forward, what is this? Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, when you're in crouch, you can do use, uh, down, one, two. And this is a very solid wall splatting tool for if you want, need to wall splat from, uh, crouching. So just hold down to stay in crouch and then you do a down one. Then you need to let go of the down input for the two. Uh, to get this move up and you can get a very solid uh, uh, a very solid uh, wall splat from full crouch as well so good stuff and then after you get the wall splat the main option that you're going to use is this uh, there's no really any need to modify this or do any other stuff I mean he has stuff like that uh, that's also pretty good and he can do like some pretty cool like re-wall splatting with uh, if you're uh Getting really good with Jack, you can do like re-wall spats with uh, full crouch down back one. 
like that and you can cause a real wasp clap for uh, massive damage but there's not not really any need to worry about it because the standard option is so solid so this is just back three two shoulder okay wall splat back three two shoulder and the shoulder uh, the shoulder is performed by doing a down forward uh, three plus four so you just wall splat back three two shoulder great great stuff and uh, I guess we could uh, show this cool uh, throw that I suck at connecting with. Is it like a timing thing? There we go. That's massive damage, 73 damage just for getting that throw at the wall. And it's not hard to do, I just kept uh, uh, messing it up because I haven't played Jack in such a long time. But I'm super uh, excited to sort of start getting back into him right now. Okay, let me think, is there anything else we need to talk about? Uh, I mean, obviously one thing that I'm guessing you guys really want to hear about is Jack's like Robo God Fist. Which is, you know, his blue spark move where he goes one. And uh, that's like a massive uh, Oki option for him. That was like the, the slow version of it. I'm not good at all. There we go. At doing this move on uh, control pad. There it is again. Uh, but this move is uh, super good. But it's also one of those uh, things that you would need to talk about quite a lot. And uh, at, at kind of like a length. So it's another thing that I'm going to save for the uh, sort of advanced uh, Jack tutorial that I'm going to do uh, later later on there's the, the blue spark version is the version you want okay and so uh this is like a, a massive um okie tool that people use after stuff like um uh, uh, for, uh four foot one and it works in a lot of situations and it just gives you a massive massive launch when you do connect with it but like i said i think that's uh for a slightly more advanced tutorial it's not a really e easy input to do especially not on a pad on a control stick it's it, it's quite easy but yeah you uh let's talk about that in another tutorial so I guess uh, we're going to do the dark greeting here, <laughs> the massive, that, that does 80 damage. I'd be interested to know if you can do like a tech trap setup with this, that would be really cool. Okay, guys, I think that's it for now. Uh, Jack is super good. He's super simple. Uh, he is uh, amazing, amazing. You just need to know a little bit of frame data because if you know no frame data and you try to play Jack, you're not going to get that far. Don't worry though, I'm going to do a guide on frame data that's going to come out uh, very soon. Uh, so look out for that. But for now, thank you so much for watching this. I mean, I was wa working off of my old notebook with a lot of old frame data that I sort of guessed myself to when I was playing him in the arcade. So if you notice any cons inconsistencies or any untruths, please inform everybody else in the comment section. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much and bye bye.